Yeah. Can a guy have less than you and you fuck with him? <clears throat> oh, why you say it low? I, I hear you. You clear your throat. <clears> throat> oh, you said, <clears throat> yeah, you said, no. <clears throat> No, I ain't hear you. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, I'm not. I, I have to have. I feel like. Like, that's one of my. As a man, I feel like you just should have more than me. Like Yeah, because dating somebody that doesn't have more, they're going to try to make you feel less than yeah. as a woman. That's how. This is 100% cap before we even finish this clip. I feel genuinely. Um, I know girls who are more dominant in the relationship as far as financial status and. They boyfriends try to dog them out just to make them feel like they not that bitch. And I never want to be a part of that. But if I'm going to be in a relationship, I'd rather it be with somebody that I could actually, that could benefit me rather than somebody that's taken away from yeah. what I got going on. Because mm -hmm. these men that don't have the financial status that you have, they are going to try to just make you feel like you not her. Mm -hmm. I've seen it. I have plenty of friends that got hella money and they got a regular guy. Listen, bro, listen. First red flag, never talk to a woman that calls herself that bitch. All right, that's number one. Number two, if y'all sitting here and y'all having these conversations like this, and this is a sum total, is that the only value that you have as a man to a woman is based off of your ability to be able to feed her money or in some way, shape, or form, be in a position to take care of her even more than she's supposed to be taking care of herself, considering that the nature of what y'all are and what y'all said that y'all wanted to be was equal. But now we need to make sure that we reduce men to what it is that they can give you. These are the type of relationships that you want to run away from. That's why I tell guys all the time. I said, listen, bro, like all of these guys that are incredibly, I know a ton of dudes that get bags. I know a ton of dudes that stay in penthouses. I know a ton of dudes that got multiple different properties. They got uh, corporate executives. They're not rappers. They're not athletes. I know some guys that are some athletes or whatever. I don't really do the rapper thing and all of that, but I know a, I know a lot of guys that are winning in life, and I tell them all the time, listen, downplay who you are because you're vetting for what you are to become, not for where you at, not for whether or not she going to accept you. And the reason why a lot of these ball players, and we just seen Terrell Lewis with his, you know, his dumb ass is running down the hallway, running away from a chick that's basically looking like she hawking him down like a linebacker. Uh, running down a hallway in order to run away from a chick that he paying for box. The reason why a lot of these young guys, these 25, 26-year-old guys, and at the top of their earning potential at this particular time in their life, and they wind up fumbling the bag by giving it over into a lot of these women or paying them or feeling like they got to spend money on these women in order to get them and stuff like that. And then you see their relationships fall apart. I'm looking at Iman Shumper right now and Tiana Taylor and – relationship completely fell apart i was looking at lou will and he was on a podcast and he was saying that yo a lot of these guys when they wind up getting out of the league and they stop making money and they got to go home and they got to be there every day their relationship completely fall apart the nature of a lot of these women are the same but we're reducing relationships now remember when you say a relationship that mean that they're not even gonna spend no time they're not even paying attention to you because the first thing that they're vetting for is whether or not you that dude whether you got status visibility enhance her can take her to the next level she looking at it like a business and you looking at it like love and the roles have absolutely reversed women used to be looking at it from a love perspective even though they did want the best guy but they still you know they attached themselves to the guy that actually would love them and take care of them and nurture them because covering you is more than just giving you money to do what you want to do so that you can go and bust it down for a dude that don't even care about you and let's be clear a lot of these women most of them, I'm not going to say all because I know that nobody is a monolith, but most of these women wind up getting with dudes that don't even care anything about them or they give it up to the dude for free, but then they start charging a dude that actually care about them and they friend zone him or they start to make themselves available to the guy that they think that, you know, really, really got it and she don't really like him. She just looking at him for what she can get out of him. And that got to be the case because, you know, these women are not vetting for good character. They're not vetting to see where you come from, whether or not you got a good family, whether, you know, you would be a good person, whether you go to church every day, whatever. All of these things that they deem corny, it's only corny until they age out or they start to run up on, you know, some problems in their life or they can no longer depend on the guys that want to become a And I don't care what you do for Like, I don't care whether you successful and all of that, that don't mean nothing to people like me because we already got it. We got money. 
We get millions every single year and we've been getting millions for a long time. So being able to maintain it is a completely different conversation. But the, the nature of who you are and who you decide to align yourself with based off of not the principles that align with the direction that you're going in, but how much he can help you out or whether or not you would. What you mean dating? I don't even believe in giving money to a woman. I don't even believe in dating until you wind up getting married. And so when y'all taking advice from a lot of these people or y'all using them as the benchmark, and you see all of these relationships falling apart day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year. And we're going to see more fall apart. I've seen uh, we're going we gonna to talk about it on after hours. And I definitely always like to link back to the content creator to make sure that they get their credit. So that's always going to be down in the description. Um, but when we start to have these conversations and we link back to whoever it is that that is is talking. I've seen Angel Reese uh, recently got into a relationship with G Herbo or a spotted out wedding. I see, <laughs> I remember, was it last year or the year before, where uh, my man, um, Killmonger, Michael B. Jordan, was simping out for Lori Harvey, and he was renting out the entire aquarium place and all of that, and then it was over, and then she moved over to the next guy, and now she's walking down the, down the street with him. They jumped from man to man, a monkey branch, and so, Two things that we're going to take from this. The first thing that I want to take from this is that this is why guys don't care. It's taken them a little bit longer than previous years in order to get to where it is that they're supposed to be as far as mentally or preparing themselves for the women that ultimately don't care anything about them. But this is why when I see girls say, listen, the value that you bring is based off of how much money you earn. Why should they care? This is why they look at you as a pump and dump. This is why, you know, they don't have the same level of respect for you as they have for the women of yesteryear, because why would they or why should they considering that you don't even carry yourself the same way that the women of yesteryear carried themselves? Why would they? It doesn't make sense. That's number one. But then number two, this is why women start to wonder and figure out, hey, why can't I find a guy that actually cares for me? And the guy that actually cared for you, the guy that, that was going to hold you down, the guy that was ultimately going to become more successful than you was anyway, they're not available anymore because you overlooked them. And often at times, women overlook the men that was supposed to be with in the first place. You're much, much happier. As a person that has had money for a long time at this point, I believe that you're much, much happier with people that actually care about you as a person instead of what you can do for them all that other stuff come with it you know what i'm saying the value that we add for each other it comes with it that's just a part of it but when we start to reduce each other down to what you can do for me unless it's just completely transactional unless you just 100 looking at this as a business agreement it's not going to be fruitful for a long time relationship but Y'all keep doing y'all and y'all keep letting me know what y'all think inside of the comments. Make sure you tap into the Patreon. Oh my God, Rivian just jumped 40%, 40%. If y'all not a part of Stock Club, what the hell is you doing? If y'all not on the Millionaire Morning Show, what the hell is you doing? If you're not subscribed to the channel, what the hell is you doing? Patreon, link is in the description. Let's run this bag up. I just bought a whole 911 off of what we've been running up over the last couple of months alone. I'm about to buy another 911 off of what it is that we just ran off of a Rivian alone. And that's the long-term play. Man, listen, I see y'all on After Hours tonight. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Don't get caught up in this super, superficial world. I mean, stuff is cool. Cars is cool. Money is good. But what value is it if you're giving it away to people that don't even care nothing about you? I love you. I appreciate you. I'm going to holler at y'all tonight. Peace.